can you, let's let's talk this into some action though to get an idea of what you're what you're actually doing because your role should be kind of something relatively active on your part and not just defensive i think so um that would bring us to you sort of going and touching and sending vibrations right to directly interact with this um this creature and the first thing you'll do is perceive them as a new matriarch whose first command is that you uh go and basically sting paralyze the biggest adult here uh, so that this matriarch can mulch it, can mulch them. The matriarch needs needs bulk. Go get me a big. Go get me. Go get me the big one. One of the big ones. Right. Wow. Well, you know, I'm eager to please. Um, but now, does that? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah. What would I? What are we use? seeing? What are we seeing? <laughs> now realize the workers are probably bigger <laughs> you know like there's probably like the big construction woods quiet there that's right <laughs> one of the big ones i said right hmm well there's a couple things you know and i don't know if uh the gut reaction of 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 hatch would be normally it's like you know, if an adult tells you to do something as a kid you're like yeah, okay <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know? um, but uh, Hatch has also proven to kind of go off the reservation uh, uh, and kind of follow uh, her own path, as it were. Um, I'm going to say I had taken the trait, and it's only a plus one, but high protector. I don't know. Mm. Usually we don't mulch viable, you know, hivers. So that makes no sense to me. Why would I destroy a big, strong hiver? Yeah, a dead one, no problem. Yeah, a dead one. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to question that with uh, well, the, my Well, the logic protector. is clear. Once you make it dead, then that, that solves that problem. <laughs> well, it does solve that problem. <laughs> yeah, but, then we're down, yeah. but then we're down an annihilator protector. And that, you know... Um, so there's, so, so I think more. there's some... Com- we have more. Look, we have, we have two more. I know. It. Oh, we have two more, but we, but we probably lost. We've probably lost a couple already. You know. In no, the, the, uh, the, the the two the two of ours, two of two of our generation. Yeah. they'll be fine. Oh, the the hatchlings. Yeah, the two young toughs mm-hmm. sitting over there, yeah. standing against the wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rick Steele and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, right. You know. Uh, Rick, okay. Rick and um, Butch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, so yeah, you're 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 it's question of uh what trait would do um protect the hive seems awfully compromised to me this is a matriarch or you're perceiving it it as one if that's the right way to put it how about this how about my keen danger sense does this seem like natural behavior yes it does Mm. okay i like it so maybe i'll I'll use my my danger sense as like this doesn't seem this doesn't seem like the natural behavior. And, and believe me, there is a specific danger here. Okay, so I will use uh, I'll use my keen danger sense. Something my spidey senses are taking. Mm-hmm. So how about <laughs> if you were to uh, take the two dice? I'll I'm provide you with two dice for this. Okay. All right. So with my one die, that's three. I'll use. I've got three pool dice. I'll use two of them for five dice. And then let's see what happens. Is Helmut back? Hold on. Now everybody's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's here. That's Can you not see? That's your phone. I can't I, I can't see anybody. I know you stupid phone. It's so annoying. Okay. It'll go away in a second. All right, let's roll these dice. I got one success. Nice. What would you like to do with that success? Um, you know what? I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to go ahead and let you narrate this ah, one. Okay, I shall suffer. Um, well, this uh, this actually is uh, a, a 
biochemical and vibratory rejection. Um, everybody can everybody can probably see that you deliver a sharp burst of vibratory, you know, force to to literally jar and 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 repel, you know, this individual. You'd gone over right to her, and and now it's like you rise up in the air, and there's this jolt of vibration that is very clear to everybody. I mean, this is like super hyper you know, separation, disconnects going on here, um, as well as a, um, a disruption of their ability to produce these, these, uh, the, these biochemical influencers, which you is now clear has actually been affecting a large number of the hatchlings in their proximity. So a whole bunch of the other hatchlings, you know, suddenly reorient and look confused. Um, and this is something that the other hivers are all now able to perceive. But it's weird because these kinds of interactions would not ordinarily be happening without you have become biochemically aware of it in the first place. So the other, the other hivers are, are now alerted to this for the first time. Um, and, uh, Hita, um, do you have a response to this? Jerry, do you have a response that would protect her? Um, oh, not? did we, did we notice this? That's, like, what we're, we're talking. That's what I was saying is that now you notice it after this, this dramatic response. Well, I'm definitely going to take notice by like looking over there and, you know, seeing what's going on. In fact, maybe I might even say, you know, is there a problem? Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the, the question is whether uh, other hatchlings are now going to launch themselves at hatch. And the fact that you have rattled the matriarchish, the pseudo proto matriarch, the fact that you have rattled them, it means that you're not suddenly inundated with other hatchlings, but the two who were sort of the, the two protector annihilate ones, they do move into an attack position toward you. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Run hatch. <laughs> Don't get mulched. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I have these lightning reflexes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and, um, and now there are two of them, and they're mean and nasty. Um, but on the other hand, the control from the matriarch has been rattled so that they're not really, you know, she's not really on her game in terms of directing this as well as she could. So um, you're in a two-die situation. Now the question is, what are Hita and Protector and Ile going to do, if anything? Mm. <laughs> I rather like that little straightforward annoyance. So is she talking? <laughs> and i what annoyance? Who are you talking about? <laughs> I, I I was actually thinking with that curiosity, maybe I could uh, teach them one thing or other. So I'm probably going to fly over there and try to pick her out the moment she's back. Right. Um, Helma, right. could you be a little clearer to me about exactly what Hita is doing? Okay, so, so Hita kind of spontaneously decides that little one probably should be my... Uh, what to call it? My successor? So I want her out of that trouble. Right. Okay. So you're going to help um, you're going to help her. So I'm going physically trying to go get over and physically lift her out of this mm -hmm. um, pile of hatchlings. So what that is starting right. to form there. So what would be the trait? I 
think I'm going to use my equipment. Yeah, excellent. I'm I kind of like I'm the kind gecko of feet. Myself, envisioning this. I'm kind of envisioning this uh, grip that is right. coming down and right. just, just a, kicking off. I like that. Excellent. So, um, so <laughs> that's good. Uh, it's a two die roll for you as well. Two dice for me, I mean. Um, mm -hmm. And then Jerry, how about you? Well, this uh, falls back onto essentially parenting, where you have to, like, you hear, like, the kids in the other room, something happens, so you have to go over there, and it's like, okay, guys, I'm just going to go over there and say, we, you know, we, this can't happen. This is, uh, the hive has to survive, and we need to be whole, we need to be strong, Uh and I'll especially look at uh, the two annihilator protectors, the uh, which I will designate I and double I, if there's two of them. <laughs> so I look at both of them and I go, "Your job is to protect uh, uh, the queen and the entire colony." Uh, they Correct? couldn't agree with you more, and so that's why one of them will be savagely trying to skewer. Hatch and the other one is now, since there are two of them and two of you, perfect is trying to savagely skewer you. Oh, whoa, these these kids are uh, kids are spicy. Well, they're <laughs> they, even since the last time you perceived anything about these, they seem even more developed than they did before. Right. All right. Um, Who's been is... in the cupboard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You uh, fed them. That's yeah, right. Exactly. So let's uh, uh, let's go ahead and have uh, some rolls. What what trait are you using, Jerry? Because you said you oh, were trying man. to settle things down. I was trying to settle things down. Um, you may alter ah, this. Mm -hmm. I've got one I've never been able to use. I'm going to use it, <laughs> even though like it would be easier for me just to. Annihilate. I uh, I am known as the scourge of the known worlds. Ah, uh, right, right. So maybe I can cow them into uh, submission. That works for me. But you know, you know, just making myself bigger and more imposing. You know, basically Gandalf shadow. Right. Just um, right. you know, gets bigger and it's like, hey, uh, you guys high? You can. Uh, yeah, how, uh, how old are you it, again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, exactly. So, I will. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and have some rolls. Okay, so that's one. Lightning reflexes, uh, I believe, Renee was involved. Lightning reflexes, and I'll use one of my die pools. So, pool, so I have five dice. I'm going to use two of the pool, so I have six. What uh, what dice have you given us, if any? Two for you. Okay, so two successes. Ooh, well, I have a total of five. Failure. Let's see if this works. Yes. Okay, well... Love this character. Okay, well, I think what's very straightforward is that Hita does not manage to... I, in fact, I was sort of amused. It that, moved. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, exactly. I mean, her lightning reflexes kept her alive, but also kept her unrescued, which mm -hmm. makes perfectly good sense. This little grappling arm, you know, doesn't, you know, closes on air. Um, but uh, with that said, what do Jerry and Renee, what do you want to do with your success? Do you want to get a die or do you want to tell us what's up? Um, I will allow uh, you to speak for us or for at least uh, for my action. Uh, okay, that means. I've got to replenish this pool. Right, yes. so you you take the die. Renee, how about you? I'll, I'll go ahead and narrate mm -hmm. mine. Um, so... And unbeknownst that she's uh, getting any help, Hatch can see the right on the wall as uh, all these eyes <laughs> get, get closer and look, everything looks more menacing and uh, almost like a kind of a comedy. Uh, you know, she just starts darting in and out, you know, and, you know, they're doing those big, you know, clumsy swipes at her mm -hmm. and, and hitting each other right. and falling over one another, getting tangled. Um, chaos is kind of ensuing. And uh, uh, just see Hatch just zoom, 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 you know, out and past uh, Hida. Right, yeah. <laughs> like just out the room. Right. Um, and probably uh, uh, past uh, uh, Annihilator Protector as he's going, you know who I am? Right. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> exactly. She's out. She's out. 
Well, in that case, I, I'm liking this. And so I'll speak for for Jerry's character now. And that basically at this point, there is sort of this loom. You know, it's it's like you, you're like zip, 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 zip. And they're, they're hitting each other and getting in the way. And they turn, you know, that way. And they turn to orient toward you. And he's there. He's like, come on. And the and, and that does it. I mean, they're they're you know, the, the the commands from the matriarch are not sophisticated enough or matriarchal enough. So the you no, know, they're not in sort of robot mind control mode, and so therefore um, they're smart enough you know, to realize their situation. So uh, so that has happened. Um, I also kind of like the idea that just if you don't mind me saying, that upon the moment of them actually sort of stopping, so there's the Protector Annihilator looming up, and then Hatch kind of pops up, like, right behind him. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, what he said. Exactly. <laughs> so um, so I think that'll do it. Is that okay for you guys tonight? Not, not too... Not too yeah, old. absolutely. That's, that's, no, that's fine. Yeah, thanks very much. We'll have a big old honking session next. <laughs>